Hi, welcome to another MYD Global episode. Today is something I've wanted to do for a while. One of the things I talk about in my book, Master Your Disaster, is the need for a family to put together an emergency pack so they can take it with them at a moment's notice. So I actually ordered a disaster emergency preparedness kit from the Canadian Red Cross. And so I've got it here finally with me today. And I just wanted to see what types of things that they include in their disaster pack. So it'll give you some ideas of what you should put in yours. So the first thing I see is a flashlight, solar crank flashlight. So obviously this is a great thing to have if you're going to have no power and you don't have any electricity. So that's a great thing to include if you're going to put one of your own packs together. Another thing they've got is a dust mask. And so obviously this is if you're cleaning up, if there's lots of dust and, and you need something for your uh, recovery piece, Dust masks are another thing they include in their package. They've got a safety vest. So obviously another thing to put in in case you need to be seen uh, and some, somebody's going by and is able to see you by using that safety vest. They've also got gloves. Uh, that's another great thing to have in your pack. They've also got an emergency hooded poncho. And obviously that's for something if you're going to have some rain, flooding, um, an emergency blanket to stay warm, a utility sheet, let's see what else they got, emergency rations, so food, this one here is uh, 18 bars of compressed concentrated food and it's, it says eat one bar every six hours per person, it's great because it's also waterproof. They also include a 40-hour candle, something you can put, uh, obviously you need matches, which I'm coming to later, but also a Mylar sleeping bag, something to keep you warm and dry, biohazard waste bags, they've got wet wipes, obviously to keep you sanitary clean, a key thing would be these, waterproof matches for your candle. A light stick, earplugs, a whistle, a collapsible water container to carry your uh, drinking water in. This, I believe, is an SOS flag to flag people when you need help. Uh, water purification tablets. This is a flavored oral swab, so I assume that's something uh, to use in the case of mm -hmm, brushing your teeth. Here we've got, I think this is a knife, a utility kind of knife. What everybody needs, no matter if you're in a disaster or not, duct tape. And the last thing, here's your utility knife actually. So that's the kind of stuff that um, when you order a disaster pack from the Red Cross, I actually ordered one for a family of four. So they have them, I think, in individual size for two people or three or four. And um, you can order them a lot of places. But this is just an idea of the types of things you should have in your pack. In the description below, I've got another list of things you might want to consider adding as well. In particular, if you've got babies, um, you know, having formula, diapers, those kinds of things, really depends on this on the type of family you have. But for me, this is really critical. I think for anyone who wants to be prepared for a disaster or any type of emergency, having a bag like this, it's just a you know, a backpack ready to go at your door where you can just grab it and know that you've got what you need. Some other things obviously to consider as a contact list, but that's below in the link. And uh, thanks for tuning in to this episode. I hope, hope that by seeing this video, you think about your own personal situation and you go out and either put one together yourself or buy one from someone online. Thanks again. And uh, if you want more videos like this, uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, also let us know if you, there's other products and services that you want to hear more about because we always want to provide content that makes sense and helps you make your life uh, more safe. So until next time, stay safe.